Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. Something new is coming to Facebook. There will be soon ways to try on glasses, makeup and other products without going to the store. Meg Oliver explains. Facebook is trying to make the advertisements on your newsfeed more social. The social networking site is introducing ads that allow users to try on everything from a pair of shades to a shade of makeup right on their smartphones. The technology that allows these Facebook ads to work is called augmented reality. Users who click on this Michael Kors ad can use the phone's camera to superimpose sunglasses on their face and see what different colors would look like. The same can be done with virtual lipstick on this Sephora ad, and all of it can be shared on your Facebook page. CNET Scott Stein says that makes it even more attractive to advertisers. You also could be taking photos and sharing that, which means you're transmitting the ad yourself. Augmented reality has been used in video games and products that blend the real and digital worlds. Now retailers are capitalizing on the technology. So you're actually in the floor plan now. From visualizing the inside of an RV to this Lowe's app that lets you see what a grill would look like in your backyard. You're going to see a lot more of it because the biggest players in the game, not just Facebook, but also Google and Apple, are investing a lot of money and a lot of time to put augmented reality across the entire phone ecosystem. Michael Kors was the first to test these ads. Facebook says Sephora and other companies selling everything from fashion to furniture will roll out their own interactive ads in the coming months. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. And meteorologist Megan Glaros here now to look at your forecast. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. We're in for some beautiful weather again today and tomorrow and the next day and even into the weekend even though humidity is going to begin to build tomorrow and eventually we reach the point where showers and storms could be a result moving into Friday, Saturday, Sunday and even Monday. But look at this Wednesday, Thursday and Friday are so pretty, especially today with the lowest humidity we're going to have for the next few days. Temperatures in the upper 80s away from the lake and will likely be right around the upper 70s by the lakefront if you're going to the Tate, which I know a lot of people are. Weather looks nice and dry at least through Friday. Enjoy.